We want to get fat adapted. Fat adaptation means that our cells are using fats better. Okay, it means that our cells know how to rev up the machinery to metabolize and process fats better as a fuel source. The more fat adaptation that we have, the more likely we are to utilize fats as fuel. It's definitely beneficial. So now we see that acetic acid, which is the primary component in apple cider vinegar, may activate the primary switch that allows us to get fat adapted meaning we might be able to get there faster. This is epic news. After today's video, I put a link down below for Element Electrolytes. They are not sweetened with erythritol. Element Electrolytes are 1,000 milligrams sodium, 200 milligrams potassium, and 60 milligrams magnesium, but that link down below gets you a free sample variety pack with any purchase of Element Electrolytes. So whether you purchase their sparkling, whether you purchase their stick packs, or whatever, you get a free sample variety pack and that's exclusively using my link down below. That is drinklmnt.com slash Thomas. Again, drinklement.com slash Thomas. Really interesting stuff. They curb my appetite entirely, but I also have them in a fasted state and I sip on them during my fasted workouts because I feel like I actually get replenished, but I also get my cravings satisfied. So that link is down below in the description. So it all comes down to AMPK. Okay, AMPK is the energy sensor in our body. Okay, so what that means is if you were doing uh, keto or if you were fasting or if you were exercising, your body would say, okay, there's no glucose or we have a decline in glucose that's available, it's decreasing. That means we need to release fuels to keep this person alive, right? So AMPK is like the signal for that. AMPK is sitting there monitoring our body saying, Oh, uh, wait a minute, that person's exercising and their glucose is dropping. Hey, quick, liver, release glucose. Hey, quick, muscles, release glucose. Or if they're fasting, hey, quick, body, start releasing lipids, release fat from the tissue because this person is not eating. So it's kind of like the messenger, but it's also the signal. It's, I mean, or really just like the sensor. Okay, well, apple cider vinegar or acetic acid, main component of it, can drive up AMPK. In fact, in a study that was published in Biochemical and Biophysical Research Communications, in an in vitro study, they found that uh, rat hepatocytes, so liver cells from rats that were treated with acetic acid, within one hour, there was a 40% increase in phosphorylation of AMPK. So what that means is a 40% increase in the body saying, we need to release fuels. We want the body to release fuels, okay? It's the idea of fat burning, right? We want the body to say, we don't need this fat on our body, release it. So AMPK, when we're hungry, in between meals, fasting, whatever, that's gonna drive that up. So a 40% increase in phosphorylation of AMPK, even in an in vitro study, gets me pretty excited. But then when you start looking at some pathways of what it can do, it's even more fascinating. One of the potential ways that it was doing this was by increasing fatty acid utilization, but also decreasing lipogenesis. So that means that it was potentially decreasing the amount of fat that could get stored and increasing the amount of fats that were liberated. Well, when AMPK is activated, acutely pretty strong or for a long enough period of time, it activates something called PPAR alpha. Now, if you watch a lot of my content, you're already familiar with it, but I'll just break it down real quick. PPAR alpha is a nuclear receptor protein. And when that protein is activated, it travels to the center of a cell and it travels to the command center, to the nucleus of a cell. And it says, hey cell, get better at using fats because I'm here now and I'm the fat guy. So it comes into the middle of the cell, it says get better at using fats. So when we activate PPAR, we are potentially making ourselves much more of a fat burning machine. What this does is additionally, it increases what's called carnitine palmitoyl transferase one, carnitine palmitoyl transferase two, it increases what's called CD36, which is like a lipid transporter. So it doesn't just help the cell use and burn fat, it helps the whole process in between. What carries the fat? What carries the fat across the membrane? What gets the fat into the mitochondria to be utilized properly is uh, you know, acetylcoenzyme A. It is a very fascinating process. But what about fat adaptation? Well, in order to get fat adapted, you need to have PPAR alpha activated for prolonged periods of time. A quick activation of PPAR alpha is great, but that doesn't really mean that your body is developing the mitochondrial machinery to 
over the long term, be better at using fats. For lack of a better term, you want to be marinating your cells in fat. You want, to be, you want them to really get conditioned. The longer and the more efficiently that they use fats, the better and more likely that they will use them in the future. So consistent use of apple cider vinegar can help increase that AMPK level, but also make it so that if you're doing like a lower carb protocol, you might have a little bit more flexibility with your carbohydrates, or if you're fasting, you might be able to get to that fat adaptation phase a little bit faster. This is very groundbreaking stuff when you start looking at how this research works with PPAR alpha and AMPK. Very fascinating and could be a game changer for some people. It doesn't mean that apple cider vinegar is absolutely like magic, but it means that we do need to start investigating different things that activate PPAR and also things that drive up AMPK. And if that 40% increase in the in vitro setting applies to humans, even half of what that is, I am all in. So anyway, as always, keep it locked in here on my channel. And in case you're wondering for the specific use case, I would take apple cider vinegar in the morning and apple cider vinegar before bed, and then try finding different ways to implement and use a straw, save the teeth. See you tomorrow.